morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are. It's beautiful. Well, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today, a short TA update plus some news that I really like. Um, two charts in the end that you really need to see to understand exactly what is happening now to the banks and Bitcoin at the same time. So let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what I see today. Beautifully over bam here. Uh, my mini me is over there in the corner. Now let's go there. I make my face a little bit bigger Opa, so you can see the expressions now um, the first thing that I want to show you of course for our chart for our chart we can see we are running against that 28k level still we want to break it we don't want to go down the band already said okay two times we go down but shitload of yellow and green at the same time so not tradable um, we want to break that level and the question now is if we succeed in breaking that level where can we go if we fail to break that level okay we can go and fall all the way back to this orange line at 25k as long as we stay above 25k i'm a very happy man but what if we do break the 28k level where do we go then let's zoom out a little bit and um, i will uh, shut down the bam bam over here the happy step to show you exactly look if we would go back look at the volume at the right guys you can see now that um, we would run into a certain amount of volume at certain levels so this is the volume we're fighting the next volume will be around 30k when we break 30k but that's a huge volume from 30k like it's like of all these bars over there on the right if we break the 30k level then there is a huge gap all the way up till the massive volume of 38k so yes if you break 28k and then also 30k then it might surprise us all all the way up to 34 35 36k that's how powerful bitcoin could move now if we zoom out to the day channel it makes it a little bit more clear look we can see the top orange line why that is resistance at the moment we can see the resistance over here now but if you look to the left there shitload of support here there was a shitload of support here was resistance and then turned into support so that is why this level of 28k is so important and so difficult to break but again if we break it we take it all the way up to the next level around 30k guys it's beautiful if you look at the bottom over here you can see the rsi for example the rsi at the moment has a level of 75 uh, but if you look at the last move that we did in bitcoin the one here on top from like um, 16k to all the way 25k the rsi went all the way up to 92 293 so yes there is more move uh, possible if you look to the rsi also if you look to this one the macd look at that blue and the red line yes we are at a high level we are at 1430 but in the bull run top we were at 4000 plus here even 5000 plus so that blue and red line can go up way more as well as as much as the volume can so beautiful to see yes there is a resistance but if we break this resistance then mid 30s is really a big possibility for bitcoin now um i I'm, i know i maybe sound too bullish at the moment but that's because i'm bullish not only about bitcoin short term but i'm bitcoin on the whole i'm going to show you now why exactly and um, by showing you over bam over here this is the one that i want to talk to you about and um, we have now the position in the world that the banks they are cracking they are breaking slowly they all fall like domino stones they are like falling 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 so the question now is what will happen next will this mean that the whole monetary system will collapse will that not mean that the whole monetary system collapse you know people still don't understand why these banks are now failing and because people still don't understand i want to show you a short video clip that i saw on twitter really funny one that explains perfectly why these banks are failing at the moment check this clip over here bam what do they just chilling I'm trying to figure some ways to make some money Shit. talking about money pops remember you got 20 dollars for me 20. i don't have the whole 20 but here's 10 i owe you 10 more okay well you put that in your pocket patrick you know you owe me 20 from last night all right, I don't got all 20, but here it's 10. I'll give you the next 10 later. Yeah, don't let that get good to you because you owe me 20. I don't have the whole thing, but here's 10 for now. There's 10 on the 20 that you owed me. Patrick, I owed you 10, there it is. Casey, here's the 10 I owe you. And here's the 10 I owe you. So now I'm even, we're all even. Everybody paid in full. Everybody paid in full. Yeah, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is exactly the problem. That's a real world problem between three friends lending each other money, paying it back, and at the end settling it, well, they all use the same 10 euro dollars. That is exactly how the banks are playing the game big time with all of our money. All the money you deposit on the bank, they do that game professionally in a big time and it led to a shitload of debt. And that debt that is almost irreversible at the moment because the only solution is printing more and creating more debt and more inflation or letting the system crash or come up with a new system, central bank digital currencies. But we saw now, for example, in California, they are fighting against it. More countries in the world start to fight against it as well. So let's see where it will go. But that is why I believe that the Bitcoin monetary policy is way more better. Bam, that one is very simple. It is not difficult to understand. It is for everyone the same. It is this. This is the Bitcoin monetary policy. We can see that the halving over here was 6.25 Bitcoins per block. And then we will go to 3.1. And in 2028, we will go to 1.5, etc., etc., etc. All to the year 2140, where the last Bitcoin will be mined. And that will be with a block reward of 0 0.0000001 Bitcoin. So that is the monetary policy that is fixed and we can't change it and it will never be changed. And that's why it's so important to have this transparent policy so that everyone exactly knows how much world money there is on the world, that nobody can print some fake money out of thin air and by that make life more miserable and expensive for other people. Now, very important. Uh, what does Bitcoin need to do to, uh, to reach those levels, guys, over here? We are now at number 18 over there. Um, I think 18 biggest uh, asset when it comes to uh, market cap. Now, how much will it take for Bitcoin to reach the gold market cap? Now, 400 billion. I think this one is uh, created on uh, the uh, the 1st of February in 2023, the values from that moment. So uh, Bitcoin was at that moment at 412 billion, silver at a trillion over there. So if Bitcoin goes times three during the next bull run, we will break the silver market cap. And by that, all these companies in between will be crashed when it comes to market cap by Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes times five, for example, we would even be bigger than Apple again. And then the next one to break would be gold. But then Bitcoin needs to go times 30. Did Bitcoin ever go times 30 in the past? Yes, of course. We went times a few hundred. Uh, so 30 is possible, but I don't think in this next bull run. I think it will take two more bull runs to reach that beautiful market cap uh, of more than 12 trillion and by that break the gold market cap and by that replace physical gold by the digital gold. At least that is how I think about um, how it is developing at the moment uh, in our world. Now, guys, to end the video, I'm going to go over here, guys. Um, I hope you really enjoyed all the short information and TA information and banking information and crashing information. Uh, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about it? Did you understand the simplified version of that video? Also, if you want more information about the Bitcoin family, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. Uh, where you can buy all kinds of t-shirts or coffee mugs or bitcoin related stuff of course but also check out the products and the, the indicators that we use to trade and everything else if you want to sign up to an exchange i prefer you to sign up to buy it because i fully trust that one i think it's one of the best exchanges with the best bonuses that gives a lot of their profits back to the users which is very important when it comes to an exchange in my opinion now hopefully you enjoyed it see you tomorrow again Bam.